Hey everyone, Jason here in the garage doing some maintenance on my trail bike, the 2014 KTM 300 XC. Here lately, my front brake has not been as responsive as I'd like. The lever pull has been getting closer and closer to the handlebar. In fact, a couple times the lever came all the way to the bar, creating kind of a pucker moment on a pretty gnarly trail here in Colorado. So it is time to rebuild this front master cylinder. For this bike, KTM used a Brembo front master cylinder as well as a Brembo front caliper for the brakes. And honestly, it's probably the same for two stroke and four stroke over a wide variety of years. They use the same master cylinder on a lot of bikes. But even if it's different, the procedure for rebuilding it should be very similar. I picked up a master cylinder rebuild kit at Slavens Racing here locally for less than $30. Uh, they're not a sponsor, I just really like the shop and they have most things I need for my KTM in stock. You could probably pick one up at your favorite online or local motorcycle retailer. Let's get started. To get started, I'm going to move a couple things out of the way. My headlight, the Bark Busters, Going to loosen my throttle housing. Get that moved out the way. Now I can loosen this. I'm gonna take this all the way off and work on it on the workbench. All right, we got the caliper off, ready to work on. Uh, but first let's check out and see what's inside our rebuild kit here. Well, of course, sticker. You gotta have a sticker. Um, I don't know what that's called. New one of those things. Basically, all the little parts that go inside. Um, C-clips, washers. Uh, oh, wow, even new screws for the top. That's awesome. So cool. Super stoked. That's a, it's a great little kit. And uh, let's get this thing going. All right. Let's get this thing opened up. Probably get something to collect brake fluid. Pull the top off here. There we go. Let that kind of make a mess there. Cool. Pull the lever off. Your situation may look a little different. I had to put a nub on the bottom of that because I replaced the uh, factory, um, what's it called? The factory flag style hand guards with full wraps and the, uh, the bolt bolted into the flag hand guard itself. And keep that little spring. Make sure we hang on to all these little parts. All right. This little plunger is kind of tricky to get out, so I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, if you take a screwdriver and push it inside, it's kind of thick at the base, and so you want to get up under the base and pull it out like that. And then that exposes the inside there. We're going to take that little circlip out. One thing that's going to be really handy is a pair of snap ring pliers. Stick it in. I don't know if I'm, you can see in there. I don't know if I'm showing a very good view of this or not, but. Oops. Popped right out. And then that guy, I think we're just going to pull out with some needle nose. Slides right out. It's got the spring. As you can see, it's got a fair amount of like trash in there, um, just from fluid being old. And so I'm gonna hose this down with uh, some brake cleaner and I'll be right back. So there's the new stuff. 
worth noting the new one is metal and the old one is plastic that's pretty that's pretty cool that the new one is metal um kind of surprising that the uh, factory one is plastic all right now that's all cleaned up we're gonna reassemble this bad boy slide it in like so All right, get a piece of it in there and kind of work it around. Sweet. Awesome. So snap ring plier back in. I don't know if you can see that or not. That snap ring plier. That, I mean, that, that snap ring is uh, a royal pain to get back in. So you want to push this in. There we go, like that. And then work that into place. Make sure that's pretty well centered in there. Not too bad. Cool, so you get the little plunger thing back in, working correctly. This little spring went inside there. Oops. Line those. Up. Oops. Where's my bolt? There it is. Boom. And that's that, folks. From here, everything's just reverse. I'll uh, put this back on the bike, bleed the brakes. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bleed the brakes on video because there's plenty of videos out there on that. But uh, that is rebuilding the front master cylinder on a KTM two-stroke. Real quick before I let you go, I thought I'd give you a little bit of tip, something that helped me purge the air out of the caliper. One thing that happens when you replace these calipers, you're obviously gonna get air in the lines. Air can kind of get trapped in the caliper here. Uh, call it an air bubble, call it vapor lock, call it whatever you want. But uh, when I was trying to get pressure on this handle, I was squeezing it forever and just tiny bubbles at a time were coming out. So what I did doing was you stand this thing straight up like this, give it a couple good taps and start pumping it. Uh, and that helps the air purge out uh, a little bit faster. That's if you don't have uh, the bleeder that pushes the air up through from the bottom, which I don't have. I just kind of bleed in the traditional way. Uh, but I, I get the, the air bubbles out that way. So I hope that helps. Again, thanks for watching. Click that like and subscribe if this was helpful. And uh, keep an eye on the channel for more content. Thanks.